So going back to play Cyberpunk, uh, I tried to use some of the amazing glitches I covered once on my channel, which makes the quality of life in Night City so much easier. But actually, not to my surprise, as it's been months, most of the famous glitches for this game don't work anymore. I went back to all the videos where I have covered these glitches and they are utterly filled with people asking about them to see if they still work. Today I bring you 5 past glitches which were incredible but don't work anymore. This is uh, being tested after the latest 1.3 patch and I hope this video helps a lot of people out because I mean some of these glitches uh, revolved around you spending points or spending money to get to certain places to activate these glitches so yes hopefully it helps someone out. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Okay, so today guys, I bring you 5 previous glitches that no longer work. So if you've seen some older videos from myself or from some of the many, many other content creators who have covered these glitches, there's a good chance now that they may have been fixed or removed. So let's check out 5 famous glitches which no longer work. Okay, so the first one we have is the infinite money via that painting glitch or exploits. Yeah guys, that famous painting which made you millions in minutes. This no longer works. This glitch which I originally uploaded many many months back revolved around a mission called Space Odyssey which rewarded you a painting. This painting, although I don't believe was bugged in any weird way, what was strange about it was, when you went to any drop point on the map to sell this thing, you could sell it for 4,000 euro dollars. But the best part was, you could buy the painting back for only 10 euro dollars. This meant you could literally stand here at this machine and sell this thing over and over making you millions. Well, not anymore because now this painting doesn't cost 10 euro dollars to buy back, it now costs over 9,000 which unfortunately makes this exploit no longer a viable option to earn quick cash. Now if you were a sneaky bastard like me and duped these numerous times, you can still sell the ones that you've duped, you just can't buy them back. So for the people who prepared for this day, you can still make that money if you stack these up. Okay, so on to the next glitch, which was one that helped this painting glitch, and that is the duplication exploit. So this glitch consisted of you finding any drop points within Night City, and basically exploiting a game which would kind of make the game's menu freeze, and once you did this, you could literally duplicate items. This meant if you needed certain items for crafting, and you was low on them, you could duplicate that item numerous times. Even a painting you could duplicate numerous times, allowing you to sell it much much quicker. The glitch was done by you standing in front of a drop point machine and pressing the button to enter the machine along with the home button at the same time. It was easy to do, but I can confirm now, this 100% does not work. Trying it for about 10 minutes straight, the drop point menu just doesn't freeze at all. So yes, no more duping within cyberpunk at the moment guys. Okay, so next up people, the unlimited quick hacking skill XP exploit. So this glitch saw you having to purchase the ping mod and having it equipped within your cyberware operating system. Once you were done with this, the glitch was simple. Now there were numerous spots on the map where this would work, but my favourite spot you can see right here. Here you could scan and ping this camera, earn a ton of quick hacking XP, drive out of the render zone, drive back and repeat. This would level up that quick hacking skill so fast it was crazy. Now it doesn't do anything beyond giving you 130 XP, which means this would take you hours to level this up, which makes it no use at all. So next up guys, you have an exploit which saw you earning all kinds of XP, including street cred and your character's overall level XP. And it consisted of you killing a group of enemies at a distance, running back slightly, then going back to that same spot and taking them out again. Now this worked because the enemies would render out and then render back in, but now it seems that they don't respawn. And this is to me for the reason that the distance now it takes for enemies to render in, back out and back in, has been greatly increased. I mean you can still get them to render out and back in, 
but you have to run much, much further, which in my opinion takes away the efficiency of this exploit. So any order glitch or exploit out there which revolved around enemies rendering in, out and back in again may not work also. Okay, so last up guys, we have the unlimited athletics XP exploit, which allowed you to basically max it out in minutes. The glitch itself is probably the easiest one featured today, and it consisted of you owning one thing, and that was the Berserk operating system. And while once you had this equipped and activating that Berserk, then running, all you had to do was slide. Mid-slide, go into your inventory. Here the game bugs out and thinks you are constantly sliding. And because you have unlimited stamina where all Berserk is activated, and while you slide you get a slight boost, if you pause mid-slide, the game thinks you're just continuously sliding and because you're in your menu, the Berserk doesn't run out. So if you set in your menu for a couple of minutes, you'd literally max out the athletic skill. Well guys, attempting this now, post 1.3, it seems as though it doesn't work at all. Literally nothing happens with this one guys. So yes, this has been fixed and removed out of the game. And there we have it guys, five famous glitches which no longer work within Cyberpunk. It just means you're gonna have to play the game properly now. I mean, who wants to do that? But yes guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.